Hello. Test, test. Hello, hello. Hello everyone. Hello Rafli. Selamat pagi juga. I'm a little bit uh, ha my nose is a little bit runny, but hopefully I can finish this. Uh, uh, forgive my no, uh, forgive my, forgive my sound a little bit because I still have a runny nose. Can you hear me? By the way. Okay, uh, my apologies. All right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a lovely Saturday morning, starting off the weekend. <coughs> Sorry about that. Starting off the weekend, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I sneeze. We're in. Starting off the weekend. There's nothing way. There's nothing better, or there's no better way to start the weekend. Uh, with some uh, Sengoku Basa to action. Hello, Hedgehog. Welcome. Good evening to you and good morning to us. So, yeah, I, I did finish Kotaro's story in Gaiden, but I decided to play him again in Conquest Mode just because I feel like I need to showcase this character a lot more. Uh, three stages in the Gaiden story for Kotar Kotaro was not enough to showcase how amazing this character is. So yeah, he's a newcomer in Master 2 Heroes and... Oh, Azuchi? Hello. Wait, you're done streaming... Uh, you're done streaming Harvest Moon? Ah, you're done streaming Harvest Moon, okay. Yeah. So... Uh... Good, uh... What a lovely morning today, and there's no better way to start the morning with some Basara action with your lovely Basara cocksucker and Dynasty Wars 5 fanboy, a certified Dynasty Wars 5 fanboy profile. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Done, done, yeah. Okay, well, I guess Kotaro. Let's start with Masamune. My nose is uh, watery right now. Uh, let's see what weapon. I kind of want to use the elemental weapon. Yeah, so we finished his guidance story, so we got an alternate color for him. That looks... Sick, by the way. It looks really cool. Let's change the costume. Let's let's use this one. <sighs> Can you hear the game audio, by the way? Is there any advice for a beginner? Basara lovers like me? I mean, you're not a beginner, Azuchi. I don't have any advice for you.
t t t bro. <laughs> what bro? Like you focus. Uh, I can I can read right now. I I I said something, right? Uh, you don't need uh you're not a beginner. <laughs> you're already a pro when it comes to Masarazuchi. You can hear me, right? God damn this mic. Hello? Please let me know if you can hear me. Okay, dengar, dengar. Yep. Uh, Rob game musuh bisa di combine yang valid lah Excel gak? Pakai emulator terbaru aja Kalau emulator terbaru bisa load original Gak usah gabungin uh, ISO So you can like um, You can use the newer PCSX2 emulator The new version You can actually just change disk To load, ori to load original It's in the server if you want to find it PS2, <laughs> I don't know if, uh, how to do that in the actual PS2, as in like, uh, use a soft file. I'm an emulator boy, I'm an emulator machine cuck. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna use the word cuck, no. I'm an, I'm an emulator machine guy, why do I use a cuck? God, I, I, I've been watching too much, <laughs> I've been watching too many red pill videos to the point where I often use the word cuck right now. Yep, here we go again. Tapi nggak tahu work apa nggak. Yeah, well, try, try it. Silakan dicoba. Hey, Morphe! Yeah, silent Fuma Kotaro. Chaos obsessed, yeah. <laughs> Eji, Eji Kotaro, who thinks himself as the Joker. But that Kotaro is cool, especially in Summer Wars 4. I do like playing as Kotaro. Yeah, Muso Kotaro. Or uh, Summer Wars Kotaro. Especially in Summer Wars 4, like I said. Kotaro looks great in black and gold. He's blind? I'm not sure. Alright, here's my boy, my husbando. Kojuro. Kojuro. <laughs> Jadi main main game yang main lah. Hello, Ishad. Just play if you want to play it. I mean, I I bought you uh, Dice Wars 8. Have you played that? Sat 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 sat. Hmm. 
命の重さが俺の剣を制圧するどうせなら何かに命を懸けてしまうチッあばよ OK Ah,、uh, you don't really need to play Dynasty Wars 4, honestly. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. But it's not. Today's not my birthday. False alarm, yep. One, two, three, four. Hup, 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 hup. Ow, ow. Jump on early. Yeah. Why not?、Uh, I feel like、um, uh, I feel like live early because I'm I'm trying. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to get one video、uh, by tonight. That's why I'm doing the live stream this morning. Working on a video that I tried to get at, out uh, this uh, tonight. Kotaro seems sus. <laughs> He's a walking Among Us ninja, I guess. Hello, Leon. Smoga l a n g Whatever. Eight views, by the way. Thank you guys so much. Doesn't deny the fact that he's cool? Absolutely. What the? Bang cewek, gak ngomongin apa sih jadi gak gak ngikutin nih? No, I I said I'm working on a video tonight. Ada video nanti mau diupload malam ini. Makanya aku streaming pagi. Ah. <laughs> Oh, 
Wishat Kamu jangan ngelampiasin ke gue deh Lu sosokan Gak suka begitu <laughs> Alright I'm getting back like, Let me kick some ass It seems something is not connected <laughs> You don't say Something sticky Tarat, tarat, tarat. Can I go up there? Like glue, yeah. Hey, I didn't know S console and pronounce stick memory card. <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's just whatever. <laughs> okay, you do you. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're playing Ark Knights like wow, going on, there's something absurd. Uh, by the way, every time I see uh, someone mention Ark, uh, Ark Knights, I. Uh, I often mistaken that as a bat a Batman game, Batman Arkham Knight. PS2 sejuta tokpet. Ngapain beli PS2 kalau bisa main emulator? Why would why would you buy a PS2 when you can emulate PS2 games and get a better get a better quality on emulation? Have a nostalgia feeling. You can just you get emulate on a, uh, on a PC, emulate PS2, and then you get the same uh, you get the same effect, more or less. In fact, even better. Hello there. What about buying a? PS2 disc to use for emulation. Um, you might as well just get it pirate. You know, you might as well just uh, get them on One Piece websites if you know what I'm saying. Get out of here, you uh, the Dante ca Cavalry. I mean, uh, here, people who sold uh, PS2 disc are either reused disc or disc that they. Um, Disc where the files they uh, sorry, disc where the contained files are uh, are from ROM site. So you might as well just get it uh, on a ROM. Alright, Masamune. Yeah, Nakai Kazuya. Uh, he has a thing with uh, he has a thing with characters uh, wielding multiple swords and having a one eye. Yeah, it's Zoro. It's Zoro. Okay, bang. Basabune. It's Zoro's voice. And also Shahudun in uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors. Oh fuck! I, I got I got screwed there. Luckily, I saved state. Oh, 
The Zoroid steak. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. The... Uh, no, no, not Snake. Uh, I thought uh, Kojuro's voice actor is Sly Snake. Kojuro is down. Bosses get me really dangerous in this game. Is that resurrect? <laughs> KG can resurrect, by the way, in uh, Basara 4. Come on. Yeah, Shahudun's voice actor is Zoro. Kau main Ark Knights, pinjam support unit mountain eh VA nya kayak kenal pas set, kasuhi nakai. Yeah, he's uh, he's Shahudun and Dian Wei in Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, yeah, Dian Wei. Like I said, uh, nakai kasuhi is Shahudun and Dian Wei in Dynasty Warriors. Which will just summon Satan. Zavi versus Shimazu. Alright, Zavi wins. Uh, who am I fighting? Uh... Let's fight. Uh... Yeah, let's fight Itsuki. Oh, this looks cool. Like a like a saw, like the saw blades. Let's use that. Do I got a new move? All right. All right, let's use that. Kalau mau jangan potong jalur untuk pada orang bangkon. Yeah, yeah. That's not what uh, that's not what I'm doing. Mereka main bareng, ya. Kotaro, the uh, silent assassin, beating up a little kid and an army of simps. <laughs> I develop PTSD from the stage. Okay. 
しにするかのThis music uh, feels like it would fit a Mega Man X game, by the way. Do a taunt. You felt sleepy uh, while playing the OSD for this stage. Yeah, it's a chill music. I like it. Ah. These fucking grown ass men simping for a little girl. say though this stage has a lot of enemies so it's really good to fill up your kill count and also probably grind your character
VTubers fanboy. <laughs> well, at least VTubers are of legal age. This one calls FBI. <laughs> yeah. That clean sweeps. God damn it. I'm not going to 
Alright, let's finish this. I like this victory pose where he kills someone during the pose. Who's next? All right, let's fight the Maeda. Even in Basarathi, he kills a guy, his victory animation. Nice. He's just that badass. Uh, let's just this one. I'll keep this color. Basura 4 mixes it up by having him hear an explosion, likely Matsunaga, and he rushes over. Welcome, I look. I like these animations, yeah. I mean, it's Capcom. Capcom knows how to go make good animations. And not to mention, this is made by uh, the team who made Devil May Cry. Ah, uh, this... Whew. Hey! Neves! Welcome! Sup, my dude? Feeling good right now? Lovely morning to start, uh... To start a good Saturday, and nothing better to st uh, start a weekend with some more single Kubasa action. So, so I really like the way he uh, sees his sword. Uh, look at this. Look. One, two, three. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a thing with twirling animation. Alright. Toshie. Oh! 
The only thing I don't like about Master 2 is that when uh, when characters stop, their mouths are not uh, their mouths are not moving, or they 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 have no facial expression. It's just the same expression. Other than that, the game is really good, especially the anime FMVs. Is this the, the best Musou game out there? For me, on the PS2, uh, on the PS2 era, yes. And it's not made by Koei Tecmo, it's made by Capcom. For Koei Musou games on the PS2, the best one for me is Wars RG2. Either that or the first Wars RG game. But if I say the best ever when it comes to Musou game, uh, th that honor still goes to Warriors or G3 Ultimate. For best Sengoku Basar, it's Sengoku Basar for Sumeragi. Easy pick. To me, Sengoku Basar is a series where the game gets better in every, uh, how do I say it? With, with the uh, as the series progress. Game looks so good for the PS2, absolutely. And that's one thing I like. Capcom on the PS2 games are amazing. Like a lot, a lot of my favorite games on the PS2 were made by Capcom. Like this, Sengoku Basa to Heroes, and then I like Devil May Cry 3. Uh, I only like I, I started liking Devil May Cry 3 recently, but. I can see why people say it's one of the best games on the PS2. Yeah, so yeah, so we got Sengoku Basar 2 Heroes, Devil May Cry 3, Onimusha Dawn of Dreams is easily one of my favorite games on the PS2, and to me, it's the best Onimusha game. Onimusha Dawn of Dreams, uh, what else for Capcom? Resident Evil 4, yeah, Resident Evil, original Resident Evil 4 was for PS2, right? Well, originally it was meant for GameCube, but they ported it to the PS2. So yeah, Resi so Devil May Cry 3, Resident Evil 4, Sengoku Basar 2 Heroes, Onimusha Dawn of Dreams, Shadow of Rome, that's another really good game. A very underrated Capcom game. Yeah, Capcom was going crazy and uh, the PS2, yeah. But also, like the PS2 era w was, I would uh, was Capcom's. I would say Capcom's downtime when it comes to fighting games. Like we don't really have a lot of Street Fighter two. Sorry, we don't have a lot of Street Fighters in the PS2. Other than re-releases like uh, Street Fighter three, but that was on the GameCube. Oh yeah, we got Capcom uh, Fighting Evolution, but that was kind of meh. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was good, but uh, that came out, I think that came out in Dreamcast before... Uh, like, the Dreamcast came out first before the PS2, right? But Capcom was more prior... Uh, they were more prioritizing on action games during the PS2 era. But then after uh, the PS3 era came in, they started to make fighting games like... Uh, Street Fighter 4 and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Maeda Toshiega Tsuma, Matsu ni gozarimasu. So, 
Oh yeah, and Sengoku Basara does have a fighting game. Uh, but it was published by Capcom, but it was developed by Arxis. Uh, I don't like beating up my best girl like this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I forgot. There was an SNK uh, Capcom crossover. That was a good one. The F S S S V C Chaos and SNK vs Capcom 2. Those were those were really good. Uh, I mean, I guess that was like a trend uh, to make more action games than fighting games. Yeah, I mean, not to mention uh, 3D action games to me started to peak or like started to grow during the PS2 era uh, because of the graphics and the overall controls on the PS2. It just makes sense to make a lot of action games on the PS2. Hideo, she wins. Uh, I'll go to Yoshimoto. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually rooting for Nagamasa to beat Shingen. I really don't want to fight Shingen, especially with his cavalry unit. Let's use this. On second thought, let's use this. Is this game only in Japanese? Because I have been looking for the game in English and I can find it. Unfortunately, Sengoku Basara to Heroes is only in Japanese. So, uh, when it comes to Sengoku Basara games, there are only two Basara games on, uh, sorry, or in English. One is Devil Kings, which is the uh, English version of Sengo, uh, the first Sengoku Basara game. And the second one is Sengoku Basara he Samurai Heroes, which is Sengoku Basara 3 in English. If you want to start the Sengoku Basara series, I recommend playing Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes because Devil Kings. I don't. Th uh, I, I like to. Th no, no, I like to think. Devil Kings and the first Sengoku Basara game doesn't really age well in my opinion compared to the uh, later games because. De uh, not to mention the weird English translation on Devil Kings, but what I'm saying is that. Devil Kings and, and sorry, it's Devil Kings and the first Sengoku Basara game have what I call first game syndrome. So if you want to start uh, playing Sengoku Basara and, uh, you know, in a language that you understand, play Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes. Uh, that's Sengoku Basara 3 uh, in English. It's available on the PS3 and the Wii. If you have a good PC, you can emulate that game on the Wii emulator. Dolphin, and trust me, Sengoku Basara 3 does not play like Samurai Warriors 3 on the Wii. Oh, 
Thanks for the recommendation. Give it a try. You're welcome, hombre. And also, Sengoku Basar 3's combat is greatly improved from Basar 2. Like, uh, as you've seen before, when you uh, before you start the battle, you need to equip the special attacks. So, you have two types of spe special attacks. Uh, uh, the combat works this way. So, square is normal attack. Yeah, like that, that's normal attack. And triangle is special attack. One. This is the second one. Yeah, you can combo it, you know? Like any hack and slash, good hack and slash would. Now, the thing with Sengoku Basara 3 or Samurai Wars that did really well is that... But, so, in this game, you can only equip with two special attacks. And you equipped it in the um, in the inventory before you start the battle. Now, in Basara 3, on the other hand, you can use... All, uh, you can use all of the special attacks at once. Well, almost all, because your R2 special attacks, you need to equip them uh, before the battle. So the only interchange, like the only uh, pre-equipped special attacks is your R2. But almost all of your special attacks are, you can, con uh, you can do it during battle at the same time. Or like, uh, you know, uh, you don't need to pre-equip them before the battle. And in uh, Basara 3, like for example, like I said, to perform a special attack in this game, you press triangle, right? In Bossar 3, uh, you have five buttons for special attacks. So you have triangle, you have forward triangle, you have hold square, you have R1. You can also do a special attack while blocking. So it's either L1, oh yeah, uh, and here R1 is a block. L1 is to change your special attack. But in Bossar 3, when you block and press square or block with and press triangle, you perform a, a special attack. And in Basara 4 especially, Basara 4 made the combat even more be uh, even better. Like Basara 4, if you if you look at videos of Basara 4 Sumeragi combo videos, that game is Devil May Cry Light. The combat in Basara 4 is seriously looking like Devil May Cry. With the insane combos that you can do. This, uh, this combat, I would admit, is a little bit more simplistic. But it's still a really good game, nonetheless. Alright, Yoshimoto. He's actually a pretty fun character to play as. <laughs> he may he may be a joke character, but goddamn, he's fun to play as. Oh no, you're not running away from me. Well, right, let me read it later. No, Yoshimoto, you're not. You ain't running away from me.
I like that vintage quality. The thing is that I really like the quality of the PS2 games. That's why I prefer playing PS2 rather than PS3 games. Uh-huh. I mean, I play. I still play a lot of PS2 games. Until this day. So, in regards to the PS3, I did I never owned a PS3. Most of the PS3 games I played was a little bit later when I started going to university and I had owned a crappy laptop. Yeah, I played a lot of or some PS3 games on that crappy laptop. 25 FPS, but I run that shit like a motherfucker. So, it was not until uh, last year that I I got uh well, I, I, I did get a better laptop and played uh, better PS3 games and like P uh, games that were on PSP, uh, PSP but ported to PC. Like the Resident Evil games, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, Revelations 1 and 2, I played them on my laptop. Though I played uh, Resident Evil 5 for, uh, and beat it on my friend's Xbox 360, we play co-op there. Uh, yeah, but now I got a gaming PC and I can run a PS3 emulator. I can play a lot of PS3 games uh, right now. So one of the reasons why I bought a PC was not only because to play like modern games, was the, uh, but also to, to emulate PS3 games on our PCS3 because there are a lot of PS3 games I missed for not having a PS3. You know, because um, you, got, you actually got a lot of PS3 exclusives that were not on PC that I really, really want to play. For example, Metal Gear Solid 4. I've watched Metal Gear Solid 4 videos, but I've never played Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 4 myself. I really, really want to try to run that game on my PC. Recently played the PS3 Seiya game again after I hacked to get the DLC character, so I'm still surprised how e easy it was. Two extra versions of locked on the uh, of sorry Seiya locked on the disc, despite them near playing nearly the exact same. I experienced Boss Out of 4 on a friend's PS4, and I really, really enjoyed it. I experienced Boss Out of 3 a little later when I actually was able to run the Dolphin emulator. Wow, Nobunaga getting beaten up by Honganji. Ah, <sighs> Matsunaga. Just ruining the fun. All right, I need this and I need this. Let's change into his original color. PS3 is underrated, absolutely. Now, so consoles that I owned back in the day, the first console that I owned, now excluding portables, by the way, the first console that I owned as a kid was the Sega Genesis or we have the Sega Mega Drive here in Indonesia. So I own the Sega Mega Drive. And then my grandparents, uh, my grandparents, God rest their souls, bought me a Super Nintendo. On, I think, when I was uh, four years old. And then we moved to Australia because my father was taking... Uh, my father was uh, getting his master's degree. We bought a Nintendo 64. So, okay. So the first console I owned was Sega Mega Drive. And then Super Nintendo bought my... My grandparents, God rest their souls. Um, then I got Nintendo 64. And the Nintendo 64, after 25 years, it's still working. But I'd rather play it on an emulator because, again, I, I played uh, the emulated version has better quality in terms of the visuals. Not to mention, uh, it's a little, bit, a little bit more convenient. The only thing I want to have to play Nintendo 64 games on my PC is that I need a uh, I need a USB to N64 controller converter. I I've, I haven't found that whatsoever. It's kind of difficult to find uh, because so that I can plug my actual N64 uh, 
Yeah, third link controller, exactly. So I can plug my N64 controller and put it on, uh, you know, play it on my PC. Now, as weird as the N64 controller is, especially uh, with the current style of controllers we have, I don't really think it was that bad. I, I still pretty much enjoy the game, uh, like enjoy playing N64 with that controller for what it is. So I got the N64, then I got the PS1, and we come back to Indonesia. Then uh, uh, I got uh, I got a PS2 as a um, as like I said as a uh, gift for my birthday, and I got circumcised uh, back in uh, 2004. So we got PS2, and ever since that, uh, I have never owned a new console again. Uh, excluding portable that is until last year i uh when i started a job you know and i started working for three uh i started a new this uh, new job i mean i got a new job in 2019 but ever since i got this job i got a bonus i got myself a gaming pc and i bought myself a nintendo switch now i mostly play it on pc but for a nintendo switch it's usually that uh that device i usually play it when i'm on the road because most of my because my job requires me to, you know, to go out a lot, to go out of town, go out of the, uh, go out of the house, basically. Yeah, so I kind of want to keep myself busy, so I bought myself a Nintendo Switch. Now I know some of you or some of my friends said, "Oh, you should get a Steam Deck." Yeah, I would love to get a Steam Deck, but the reason why I bought a Nintendo Switch back in uh, last year was because I didn't have. Uh, enough money to buy myself a Steam Deck. Steam Deck was relatively new yeah, and was super expensive. So I bought, so I bought poor man's version of Steam Deck, aka Nintendo Switch. Uh, my first console was the N64. I remember uh, playing the Pokemon Stadium and Tarzan games. Such good memories. Nice. Uh, my first game on uh, N64 was uh, Super uh, sorry, Mario Kart. All right, let's continue. I do have like uh, portable consoles as well. I mean, N60, uh, not N64. Nintendo Switch is a portable console. Like the first, when it comes to portable consoles, the first one that I owned was the original Game Boy. I own a, a I own a original Game Boy. Then uh, during the PS2 era, I, I got my uh, we bought my par my parents bought me Game Boy Advance. And then my sister owned a Nintendo DS. Oh yeah, I also used to own a Game Gear, but my, my grandparents, God rest their souls. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the analog for uh, N64 controller is fragile. <coughs> I mean, I get it though, Nintendo always, uh, when it comes to their uh, consoles, they always rely on gimmicks. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, you can still progress even if you're, even if you lose this battle. Yoshi resists. Alright, big monkey is on a winning streak. Alright, let, uh, let's see who, I, who I'm fighting. Alright, let's fight big monkey. Let's fight Raul. <laughs>
uh, mending biarkan si Hideyoshi lawan Azai atau apa biar mangkas lebih cepat. Ah, that's okay. I wanna, I wanna fight Hideyoshi anyway. Well, dude, it's actually night time where I live, so I'm going to sleep. Enjoy the rest of the stream anyway. All right. Thank you so much, hombre. You take care, buddy. Have a good night. Yeah, I know. I want Chatao Zinezumi. I just kind of want to fight Hideyoshi because I want to avoid fighting Shingen. I mean, uh, Atara Shinezumi moved his Basar content on TikTok, right? Because you want to play other games on YouTube. I see.
Hey, great. GG, welcome. Lunch break. Nice. Matsuno <laughs> ここ ここに伏せていた前、君にはそれがお似合いだ。<笑> ヒデヨシは切れないよ。工場に新しい逆族打ち明かしてまいれ。水空将兵の基本を知らせ。了解した。ヒデヨシ。思い悩むことなんて何もない。ヒデヨシに託すれば。I made monkey mad. Hey, Cher, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well, buddy. Yeah. 
I made monkey mad. Yeah, Kotaro is such a beast. Quite a fan of the stage, uh, design-wise, and it fit. It's fit for grinding how many guards, ca guard captains, and generals here. Yeah, I agree. Osaka Castle is really good. I, I would argue as well, Sekigahara is a good stage to grind. The only problem in that stage is that you really have to defeat Tarakatsu to end the stage. And he is not an easy task to fight. More beast than beast Gohan.
Au. Fisking Raul. Oh yeah, I love Sekigahara as well. Tarakatsu is pretty difficult to dodge and defeat with someone uh, like a slower character. Look at you, Zabi. I think I got a new move. Let's see. All right, two more to go. Nagamasa and Zavi. I'll save Zavi for last. If only Zavi didn't move like a pregnant grandma. <laughs> Ah, that's cool. I think so. Let's see. Oops. I think you can control uh, the shuriken when you level up this move. Oh, 
I like the fact that when you do this move, it sucks your enemy. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, it sucks. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks your enemy uh, towards you.
正義が破れ去ろう中野さざまが怒ってるアレカオデイメイドウィルエレメントインバサラインバサラプリクラブインユースフォーコイズウィルエレメントインバーリーノーズボープリティマッチワンモアベースロコストコロワトウストーツロファイトパワーレンジャーズスーパーセンタイスメノトリテコウルサイラブショータナイチウルサイウルサイウルサイどこにあるべきでステージワン。It is。なぜわざふ。守りを固めろ。落とされてしまう。我が兵たちがこんなにも簡単に。I just love these guys. お
No, you don't. Hey, welcome, Extern. One, two, three. Imagine the Gohon Yahi playable in single Bazaar 5. Oh, abs I would play them. Absolutely. That, that, that could be his their Bazaar attack. Like, imagine not only that, by the way, Gohon Yari in Sengoku Basara 5 using RE Engine. That would absolutely look sick. God Hand also had a Super Sentai boss where you fight color coded uh, midgets. Yeah. <laughs> Right, time to fight superhero man and hell girl. The Yari Zord. ぬくしな忍びだ。死なす罪を犯す。よく。私の意志。私を侮辱した罪。後悔させてやるぞ。It was pretty cool to see Hideyoshi, Nagamasa, and also Hanbei come back in for. Yeah, I agree. But I, like I said uh, in my previous stream, I kind of want to see the Basar 2 characters appear uh, in Basar 4, honestly, because they deserve a rework. Like Nohime, Ranmaru, Musashi, they all deserve a rework. Hell, I would, I would love to see a rework of Ibagawa Yoshimoto. Not to mention if Capcom can uh, rework someone like Hideyoshi into a really good character, they might they could do, you know, wonders for someone who is least popular like Zavi. But I would love to see a better <laughs> Zavi, not gonna lie. Alright, speaking of Zavi. I'll take this one. Here comes the final opponent, Zavi.
Which boss or three should I play first? Uh, you can play Basara Samurai Heroes. Wait, I need to piss first. Be right back. Oh yeah, before that, yeah, I agree. Utagi is the best one. Uh, Utagi, play Utagi best, man. But if you have, like, um, having language problems uh, in all Japanese, you can start with Basara Samurai Heroes. So, okay, I'll be right back. You did take a piss. Alright, I'm back. Um, if you're talking about playing Basar 3, yeah, Basar 3 Utagi is the better version. Uh, like I said, I usually recommend Samurai Heroes just because uh, if you're having trouble with the language. Um, but yeah, Utagi is also a recommendation. Uh, what's the difference between Utagi and Tsumuragi? Well, Utagi is Basar 3, Tsumuragi is Basar 4. Alright, this is the final battle against Zavi. Let's finish this quickly. Always got the words mixed up. Still here, Profar? Hey, thank you, Hedgehog. Appreciate it. I really love this song as well. Zavi's Castle. Uh, it's okay, Hedgehog. It's okay. It is what it is. Oh, that, that, that's a really good combo. But I, I did not notice that. Wait, one, two, three. So this move, yeah, this kick move, it has a different combo when you perform certain normal attacks. Like, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You actually stab him in the air. That's really, really cool. This is what I said when... Uh, uh, Basa has more personality and variety in the combat than most of the PS2 Warriors games. Or most uh, main Warriors games in general. Oh, 
ことは決して忘れませんよ。メカザビどうしたらいいのます
時はダメなのです。Okay. Here it is, the final boss. Let's finish him. No zombie, no life. <laughs> no <zombie>, no life. <laughs> Goodbye, Zavi.
right? Japan belongs to the Hojo. Okay, we, we got a gauntlet. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna fast forward this so that I get I don't get a copyright for playing a uh, Abingdon Boy School song. Da -da 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 All right, got a new costume for Kotaro. Yeah, you just want to showcase his new costume. That looks absolutely sick. I love it. Uh, the the raven wings. <coughs> like how look look at how badass that looks. Okay, so that's it for this morning, ladies and gentlemen. We finished uh, Fuma Kotaro's conquest mode. So, yeah, that's all there is. He doesn't have a bird, but he is the bird. Exactly. He doesn't have a bird, but he is indeed the bird. So, yeah, um, I'm going to hopefully, if not by tonight, uh, tomorrow morning, upload a new video about Mortal Kombat 2. It's a retrospective video on Mortal Kombat 2. I'm trying to get that out as soon as possible because I, I just need to finish one more chapter and the conclusion so that, you know, uh, I finish the editing and I would get that out because it's a it's a it's a planned video I should have done earlier this year, but I keep uh, I keep I keep postponing it. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining the stream uh, in this Sega Kubasa 2 Heroes for this lovely morning. Expect more Sega Kubasa 2 Heroes content in at least the near future before we eventually move to Devil May Cry 4. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the stream, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? It's completely free. Subscribe to the channel if you want to hang out with the boys and myself. Link to the description, sorry, link to, to, link to our Discord is in the description below. Join the Profile Mockware Hunter X Discord server, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash stream. Goodbye, everyone.